Hello everyone and welcome to my new doll repaint video. And today guys I'm going to continue working on dolls that I want to make since the beginning of this channel. In my last video I made a Sailor Moon doll in collaboration with my mom and today me and my mom are going to make Alice in Wonderland doll. I also want to make this doll literally since the very 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 beginning of my channel. So today is finally the day when we are going to make her. My mom will make a beautiful outfit and I will make the rest, her face, hair, accessories, shoes, all kinds of things. I think it's going to be a very, very, very fun project. I really want to make Alice already for a very long time, so I really cannot wait to start working on her. And that's why, yeah, let's finish this intro, let's start the makeover. But first of all, guys, of course, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. I upload new doll makeovers or every week's Friday or every second week Friday, depends on the size of the project. And of course, please hit the like button if you enjoy things that I'm making here on my YouTube channel. And this being said, let's start working. I've decided to use this Frankie doll to make my Alice because I think she has one of the cutest faces out of all Monster High dolls and I really want my Alice to be super cute in the end. So, let's undress her, let's remove her original clothes, hair, everything. Then <laughs> I will remove her face with pure acetone because I just must have a clean canvas to be able to start the real transformation. Everything is gone so I can finally spray her face with Mr. Super Clear sealant and start drawing. And the best way to deal with the green skin tone is to cover it with a layer of light red or pink pastels. The red will cancel the green and you can continue with light nude colors on top of that neutral base.
I'm going for a very sweet and girlish face today with big blue eyes with very innocent facial expression and you know I think I will draw her lashes again today the same like I did on my Sailor Moon doll in my last video I don't know I'm just not into falsies lately for some reason maybe later it will change but it is what it is now not into falsies for, for the moment After drawing her face, I blush her body to make it the same color like the face. And now guys, it's time to take a look at my mom's work in progress. How she's doing there, working on her outfit. And you can see that she starts with a white underskirt with lace attached to the bottom. Uh, then she makes a top underlined with mesh and then main blue skirt. And after that, she makes an apron and a pair of very cute vintage panties, or what is the name for this kind of pants that you wear under skirt.
here is the finished dress, arrived at my studio and look how cute and how detailed everything is, really. The dress with this underskirt, the apron, the cute panties. I will show you everything from clothes because it's absolutely beautiful. I just want you to see all the details from clothes. So now let's put everything in our doll and let's enjoy the outfit one more time. Perfect. Everything looks so good, really. I'm very happy, beautiful outfit. Uh, now I want to make a pair of shoes for her out of Orbla Thermoplastic. I've already cut out all the details and now I just need to warm them up with a hair dryer to make them soft and sticky and shape the shoes around the doll's feet.
So this is what I've ended up making. Now let's paint them black and add some rhinestones to imitate buttons. Okay, the shoes look really good, I'm very happy with them, uh, so now we can move on and make some more accessories. And you know, I want to make a bottle with this drink, with a potion that made her small, the shrink drink <laughs> or something, and a cake that made her regular size again. So let's start with the bottle probably, because it's easier. I've got this teeny tiny bottle, I think it will be perfect, and I will fill it in with glow in the dark glitter pearl scent powder and I will also add their acrylic resin and then I will cure it all with a UV lamp. Very good, now I also want to add this magic fabric from two videos ago, yep, something like this to make it all look more magical and now I still need to make a label for the bottle and we are done. And that's it guys, the bottle is finished, looks very cute, so now let's make a piece of cake out of clay and I don't know why but I feel very excited about this part of the project, I kept kind of the best for the end. So I start with sculpting the cake with cream and with frosting on top. Let's make some holes to imitate the biscuit texture.
then I'm baking it for 30 minutes in the oven. Okay, the cake is baked, looks super cute, I'm still excited about this project. So now we can decorate it and I will take these tiny slices of plastic strawberries and I will cut them into pieces and glue them to the top of the cake. looks so yummy already <laughs> uh, I don't know let's cut pieces of my thermoplastic into smaller pieces to create like an imitation of coconut shavings and I will glue them to the side of the cake And I absolutely love the way it looks. So yummy, I would really eat such a tiny cake right now. I just need to add the eat me paper to the cake and we are done. Good, the accessories look super cute. I'm still in love with this tiny piece of cake. So now let's make her hair and I will use this yarn for it. I know it looks a little bit scary with these black and brown pieces, but they're very easy to remove and we will end up with a very beautiful kind of baby blonde hair after some manipulations. I've tried it already here on the end of this yarn. This is exactly what I need, so let's cut it, brush it, straighten it with a hair straightener and then I will glue her hair to the head.
And this is where I've ended up with her hair two days later. She looks very, 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 very cute. Now I just need to add this black bow that my mom made to her hair. And we're done! After this I just need to cover her eyes and lips with high gloss varnish and then we'll take a look at the end result pictures. So guys, here is my finished Alice doll with her cake and her bottle and I think she looks really 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 sweet, very cute, a little bit confused and surprised. My mom's outfit looks adorable, as always, all her outfits are masterpieces really. I really love this lace peeking from under her blue skirt, very cute. I think my mom deserves a huge like today and don't forget to subscribe to her Instagram. And you know, I especially loved making this piece of cake that was pure fun. I should make more clay cakes for my dolls in the future. And I think I should make more characters from Alice in Wonderland. What do you think, guys? I think I should make Tim Burton's Queen of Hearts for Halloween. And I don't know, maybe someone else? So please let me know what you think about it in the comments if you want to see more characters and which characters exactly I want to see. And also please let me know what you think about this doll. Let's discuss her in the comments. And this doll is now available on eBay for sale. This time I listed her for seven days. Sorry guys, I kind of keep experimenting a little bit with the auctions, trying to find the best amount of days for a listing to stay online. So, the link you can find in the description box under this video if you want to buy this doll. So guys, and that was it. That was my doll transformation of the week. I really hope you enjoyed it today. And if so, please guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. And of course, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. And now, please have a nice weekend. Love you. See you in my next video. Bye.